Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. I think last week, y'all, I showed y'all how to make old school tartar sauce. We getting ready for these summer fish fries, y'all. Gotta have these fish fries in the summertime out in the backyard. And I already showed y'all how to do catfish. Matter of fact, I'm doing fried catfish today. So I said, why not do a, a video on the old school hush puppies that goes with the catfish? And now y'all know already, I think I've told y'all before, when I do catfish fries and all that stuff, fish fries, I do the hush puppies first. Y'all know the tradition of hush puppies, huh? The cooks used to do it and throw it to the dog and say, hush puppy. And read up on it. It's a long story, but every time you do a fish fry, I do the hush puppies first and give you something to snack on while the fish is cooking. And I do the same thing. I don't do no different. So this is very simple, y'all. I tell people hush puppies it's just like cornbread, just had less milk in it. This ain't no to me, it ain't no difference. Okay, I use yellow cornmeal. The recipe is in the description of the video, y'all. So a lot of people say, oh, he don't tell how much he's putting in it. It's in the description of the video. So yellow cornmeal, all-purpose flour. I like a little sugar in mine, a little salt and pepper, a little baking powder. I try to mix all the dry together first, get it all mixed up with the whisk. This come along so quick, y'all. I got my oil heating up to about 350 over here. See how easy this is, y'all? So easy. Okay, put a little vegetable oil in here. Put an egg in there. Put some onions in here. Just a smidgen of onions, y'all. You don't need a lot. If you like a lot of onions, okay, you can put a lot of onions. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna comment. Kind of Move over here to my spoon, kind of mix that up a little. Now we're going to put a little milk at a time. Now I put, I think, what is it, half a cup of milk in the in my description. But don't pour it all at one time. Kind of pour it little by little because you don't want to put it, you don't want your hush puppy mix too, too loose. You want it ready completely uh, incorporated here and where it can just scoop it out. You don't want it like mush. That's pretty much what you want right here, y'all. Pretty much what you want right there. That's it. That's what I want. Like a thick cornbread mix, y'all. That's what we want. Get that off the spoon. And I like to let this rest about maybe 10, 15 minutes. Kind of let the milk kind of really get uh, incorporated into the mix there. We're going to come back. I got me a little ice cream scoop there. And we're going to scoop it in the fire. It'll be 350 degrees by the time we get back. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. We're going to move over here to our oil here. It's sitting on about 350 degrees. That's what I wanted to sit on, y'all. 350 degrees. Okay. Got a corn me. Now what I do, y'all, I got a little scoop right here. What I do, I stick that scoop into this oil. And then I'll put it in my hush puppy mix. That way the uh, hush puppy will come right out. See that? A little chip for y'all. I've been doing this for years, especially when I do it in the restaurants. That's what I do. Every couple of times, just kind of stick it in the oil there. And it'll come right out for you. Very simple. I think I can maybe get all these in here, y'all. That's the plan. Get them all in there. And get a nice golden brown on them. They definitely don't take long to cook. One more out of here, y'all. I'll get one more out of there. That's it. I'll get my spider here. Move them around. I'll make sure they all see how pretty those are right there. I'm telling y'all, hush puppies don't take long at all to make. They're very simple to make. Like I say, give you something, give you something to eat on as you're frying your catfish. So we're gonna let these fry takes about two or three minutes. We'll come back, take them off. I'm gonna make my fried catfish. 
And we ready to eat. I got the homemade tartar sauce. It's all about homemade in the summer fish fry, y'all. Anyway, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Like I said, it takes about two minutes on these bad boys. We'll just take them out. Look at that. How pretty those are. Perfectly round. Like I said, get one of my ice cream scoops, y'all. And, uh, and I'm going to leave this fry with this here on, y'all. Hold on just a second. And this is why the oil is sitting on about 350 degrees. So while I got it on, I'm going to just throw my catfish in there. Y'all see me pour my fried catfish many, many times. If you haven't seen me fry catfish, where have you been? If you haven't seen me fry catfish, where you been? So I'm going to put some catfish in here. Summertime, y'all, it's all about fried fish. All about fried fish, y'all. So anyway, like I say, while your fish is frying, you got some, what you got to eat on? You got some beautiful hush puppies to eat on. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back here. Once all is done, we'll do our old school YouTube thumbnail, and we're going to try all this out. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. I want to show y'all how pretty this fish is. Look at that. If you haven't saw my whole video on fried catfish, go check it out. I showed y'all the secret. Maybe I'll put a link at the bottom of the, the video. The secret of perfect golden brown uh, uh, flavorful catfish. Let me put the other one in there, y'all, and we're going to close the video out in a second. When I come back, y'all, I promise you I'll have everything done. Make sure that fire is going back up, yeah. I'll have everything done, y'all, and we'll be ready to i'll be ready to eat y'all be ready to watch so we'll fry the fish in there other piece in there y'all all right we're good to go so anyway y'all we'll be right back all right y'all we are back here look at this here y'all now this is a plate i'd have in my backyard but i'd have about like five of these y'all and when I do, like I told y'all, when I do a fish fry, especially in my backyard, if I go to a friend's house or neighbor's house and I'm going to do the fish fry, that's what I like to do, y'all. Just pick one old school soul food member and just show up y'all house with about 25, 30 pounds of catfish and my hush puppy batter, and my old school, about a gallon of my old school tartar sauce, and just y'all call about 20 of your neighbors and just get in your backyard. I'll even bring my deep fry and uh, we'll fry up some fish. I'm gonna put that on my list, see if we can make that happen. Somebody, some lucky uh, neighbor in the Houston area, or the Dallas area, even Texas area. So I'm gonna put that on my list. But anyway, like I was saying, I'll make the hush puppies first and give you something to nibble on while the catfish is going. I always make the hush puppies first, unless you got some greedy neighbors and they are gonna eat all the hush puppies up before the fish is done. So just tell them one of each. So anyway, let me show y'all how, let me get behind you. These things are so light, y'all. Look how easy when they tear them apart. See that? See that? So light. I'm not heavy. See that? See how flaky those are. Flaky, line. Like I told you, I put a little sugar in mine, like a little sweetness, not much. A little sweetness in mine, because it's got the salt and pepper in there. And the flour in there makes it work not so mealy. You don't want a mealy uh, hush puppy because what happens if it's too mealy, too much cornmeal, it's going to pretty much crumble when you bite into it when you break it. So the flour I put in there as a stabilizer to make sure you know, when I break it, see, it doesn't fall apart. It has a stabilizer in there with the flour. That's what the flour does. Of course, the egg is a stabilizer too. So, yeah. I'm telling y'all, this is a go-to. Mm-hmm. Got just a little onions in there. You can add more onions, but I put just a little. I make sure they uh they don't have a big bite of onion. But you can <coughs> it's okay, I'm telling y'all there. But you can taste it. Okay, let's try the fish. I know the fish is good, y'all. 
little tail piece of that fish. Look how flaky. What's the thing about the catfish? You know, one thing y'all I do too, I'll dip my, mm, 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 look at that. I'll dip my black pepper in my tartar sauce. So we will going eat it like that. But it's all in summertime, I tell you. Friday, fish Friday, growing up in the country, it's all about Friday night, fish Friday. I told you about the restaurant when I was growing up in my town. Every Friday night for years when I was growing up at a restaurant, they had all you could eat catfish. It was catfish, fish fries, hush puppies, and sweet iced tea. And they had the iced tea in the mason jar. I think it was like $5. I mean, this back in the 70s. $5, all you can eat catfish. Let me tell you, the restaurant hurt all about 250 people. I think everybody in the town was there on Friday night. But that was the thing. Friday night, all you can eat catfish. There's some places around here in the Houston area and the Dallas area I'm checking out to have all you can eat catfish on Friday. That's a big thing. I don't know where you from, where you grew up. Just let me know if y'all had all you can eat catfish at restaurants. So, anyway, I do want to share this, y'all. From summertime, this is beginning now. I'm going to start doing a lot of light items, a lot of summertime items, a lot of outside grilling items. So, it's all about enjoyment of the summer with your relatives, family, friends, neighbors, co workers, and over celebrating and fellowshipping over food. That's what brings us all together. So, anyway, let me close the video out. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, and please follow my other social media accounts. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023? Just show some kindness, Old School Soul Food. Till next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Y'all have a happy summertime, y'all. It's a lot to come. Love y'all. Bye.